Hi friends, it's Miss Emily again with another video for you. So this is part two of the create your own creature character video. And remember last video I said we'd be coming back to this activity. Well, today is the day. So grab your piece of paper that had um, those four boxes on it. Um, and then on the other side, we had a drawing of what our character might look like. And I want you to revisit what you drew and what you wrote in those boxes, okay? So box number one was where does your character live and what does that look like? Box number two was what was your character's favorite food? Box three is what is their greatest strength and what might that look like? And box four was what is their greatest weakness and what might that look like? Then I asked you to turn the paper over and draw what your character just looks like, okay? Um, so what I did is I created my own creature character that I'm gonna show you today and give you some activities that you can do to help continue to develop that awesome character. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is I want you to think about what your character looks like and see if you can use your actor's tool of body to show what that character looks like. Now, I'm going to show you my character. Her name is Strawberria. She is a strawberry creature. And even though she looks kind of big on this piece of paper, she's actually pretty small. So, Strawberria, I do not look like a strawberry, but I'm gonna do my best to use my actor's tool of body to show you what that might look like, okay? So, if I come back to that actor neutral space, feet hip width apart, knees slightly bent, I am ready with my body to show what Strawberria might look like, okay? So I'm gonna count myself down three, two, one, and I'm gonna hit my best strawberry pose, okay? Three, two, one. Okay, I might look kind of silly, but I made my body smaller. I made my arms a little wider because she's like wide across the top and smaller down at her feet. So strawberry might pose like this. Okay, and it's like a frozen statue pose. Now I want you to try with your character, okay? So think about what your character looks like and go ahead and strike your pose. Awesome work. Now I want to talk you through some other poses you can do with your character, okay? So the first one is show me a pose of your character being mad. Ready? Three, two, one. Nice work. Now, show me what it looks like when your character is disappointed, okay? Or sad. Three, two, one. Go. Awesome. Now, show me what it looks like when your character is really, really excited about something, okay? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice. And finally, show me what it looks like when your character is super tired. Okay, ready? Three, two, one, go. Nice work. Now I want you to take this character you've created from your sheet, okay, and start to explore um, in those statue forms what they might look like, okay? Now, you have to use your imagination for this, because like I said, my character, Strawberria, she's a strawberry. I'm not a strawberry, but I'm using my actor's tool of imagination to kind of explore what that might look like, okay? So go through your poses and then try this last activity. The last activity we're gonna do is we're gonna do a character walk. So now that we did those statue poses, I wanna see you try it um, with a walk, okay? So show me how your character moves. Ready? Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Nice. 
Now try moving really fast. How would your character move really fast if they were late for something? Awesome. Now, what if they were moving really slowly, like in slow motion? Nice. Good work. Keep exploring and, and experimenting with your character. And we can come back to these characters to create our own sort of play or story later on in the video series. I hope you have a great day. Bye.